um, I'm Chad, um, from Coder Shack, and uh, I'm about to show you how to use um, curl and uh, to log into whatever websites you want or whatever. Uh, this is what you need to do first. You need to have Firefox. Then you're gonna need to go to um, live http headers dot um, dot org, and you're gonna wanna install it. So download it, install. Alright, okay, next, let's see, um, you're gonna wanna go to, um, one sec. Alright, and after you have that, um, all installed and everything, you're going to, um, open up a blank PHP document, and, um, you're gonna have to look under this video, and you're gonna see, um, the two functions that I will be using in this um, video tutorial. So here are the two functions: uh, curl underscore grab underscore page, and um, the other one is uh, curl score underscore. I mean curl underscore login. And um, we're going to use the login function. So type the beginning of it out. Okay, and now it says we need a URL. So for this demonstration, we're gonna use um, Secure Gamers, and let's see. Now we're gonna want to open up Live HTTP Headers. Let me see if I can fit in here. All right, uncheck Capture because we don't want to be capturing while I show you this. All right, and then we're gonna want to do an account. Okay, now um, this is important for um, vBulletin forms or uh, many other logins. You should always check the rem remember me thing because this is for um, like logins that require cookies, and this is very it wouldn't like you wouldn't be able to use curl to log into um, a vBulletin form without checking this. So I assume it's on other forms too. So now we're gonna want to record it. So capturing it. Now we're gonna log in. Now you're gonna look at this, and um, you'll see that uh, up here, way at the top, you're gonna see a URL. Now that is um, the URL that you want to send um, the um, headers to, or whatever the post, or whatever you call it. So you're gonna put that in there as the URL, and then for data, it's also in here. You're gonna see right here. It's right under content length. So, you, whoops, okay, you want to put that right in the next field. So, what, what happens is vBulletin, they actually um, put their um, login pass, the password in MD5. So, a JavaScript encodes the password right on submission. So, it's pretty cool. Um, then, for proxy, which is the third field, you don't want one, so you can just leave that empty. And then, for uh, proxy status, you can just, if you want, just put off because we're not going to use it. But if you wanted to, you could just, instead of off, you could put on. And in the field before, you could just put the um, proxy address. All right, so now that should log you in with no problem. Now we want um, to use uh, this function, uh, curl grab page, to get a page that you wouldn't be able to usually get without being logged in. So just throw that right there. And you're going to want the URL of that page. So let's go here and let's log out. And let's find a page that you can't normally browse. Let's see. Right here. Okay, this probably you can't. Alright, it says no post. Okay, it's, that's probably um, secured or whatever. So you're going to want to throw that URL right there. And then after that, you're going to put a uh, no proxy and, um, whoops. Off. Okay, so those two are done. I also want to put echo up for this demonstration. I'm putting echo so you guys can see what the results are. And um, I'm also going to tell you that uh, you need to have a cookie.txt file because um, when it actually logs in, it's going to write the cookies to a file. So you're going to um, create a file named. Um, 
text file named uh, cookie. And you're going to want to go to your, put your cookie file right in there. And because uh, it's going to be writing to it, you're going to, should grant it all that access. So you can chmod at 777, full access. And now we're going to actually, looks, we're actually uh, save this now. So, and um, drag it in there. And let's see in action. So, shit, I forgot what I named it. All right, whoops. All right, let's see. Uh, notice that we're logged out right now, and now we're actually viewing it those forums as logged in. So basically that's how you do it. You can do it on uh, many other things and uh, that's just the basics. Uh, you can I hope you can have some fun shit. And uh, this uh, video has been brought to you by uh, CoderShack.com and if, if you're bored or whatever you want to learn something, stop by.